pretending I was driving this beautiful car. This is Mark Chalero from MS Classic Cars. Today I have the pleasure to present you an absolutely beautiful 1965 Ford Mustang Convertible Custom. <laughs> following us knows I love my Mustangs. Uh, 1965 was the first classic car I've ever owned. Coincidentally it was red and here we are today uh, 20 something years later sitting in this beautiful convertible. I'm really proud of this car. Uh, this car I've deemed heartthrob uh, because it's exciting, it's red, uh, and it's got a great look to the exterior especially. Uh, it's really eye candy. Uh, talking about this car, it obviously went through a complete restoration from top to bottom. Um, it does have some custom body uh, parts that were added to it and molded to the body. Uh, part of them were from an Eleanor II kit, which is built for the first generation Mustangs. Uh, to, so to start off, the hood is a hood that would be found on a Shelby GT350. It's got the uh, nice hood scoop. It also has billet uh, hood pins. Uh, the front of it would be similar to the Eleanor uh, Mustang that you see, the whole front end. It has the custom uh, upper grille and lower grille. Uh, you'll notice on the bottom they tied in a lower molding to the bottom, uh, not only on the fenders, on the side of the car, but also on the rear quarters. It also has an Eleanor uh, E2 style rear end uh, with the deck lid and even the rear bumper was painted and tucked in beautifully. Um, it does have custom headlights, it does have custom taillights, it's got Cobra emblems, it was obviously painted in this beautiful color red, uh, it's got the painted Shelby racing stripes uh, that are in white, they look awesome, and it also has a lower uh, Shelby GT350 side stripe as well. The car sits on 17 inch wheels, these are a great wheel uh, for driving, they're not too big, not too small, they kind of fit the car perfectly and coincide with the error of the vehicle. Talking about the, oh, top. The one thing I wanna mention about the top is it does have a cloth uh, black top which has a real uh, glass window in it. We actually had that professionally installed at the dealership. When I had gotten the car, it had a white top that was more of a vinyl. We ended up putting on the black top. Uh, so you can see that within our description and photos. You'll, you'll see pictures of it with the top up. We thought for the video it looked much better with the top down, so here we are. Uh, looking at the interior of this car, everything has been restored in the interior. Um, it's a kind of a two-tone deal. Um, it's got a red dash. Uh, it's got a black um, dash uh, cluster here, and the uh, front fascia part of the dash is also black. The glove box door is black. It's got brand new auto meter gauges. It's got an I did it tilt steering column. It's got a Lacara Cobra style steering wheel. It's got a Kenwood uh, sound system. It's got the center console here with cup holders. It's got brand new uh, pro car bucket seats. Another thing that we did here at the dealership, uh, which look really good. Um, it's got really nice custom floor mats that we added. It's got billet accessories on the door panels. Um, the cool thing about this car is it has power windows. 
Uh, they look like they're roll-up windows, but they're actually power windows. Kind of a cool deal. Obviously, it has heat and everything else, so this is a really, really cool interior. Super comfortable. Uh, talking about the engine compartment, the engine compartment is nicely detailed. It's all been finished in black. Uh, the engine is a 302 roller cam engine. It has aluminum heads. Uh, it's got some really nice accessories, uh, custom pulley uh, system. It's got a custom valve covers, air cleaner, uh, carburetor, etc. Uh, this motor is probably somewhere in the 350 to 375 horsepower range. Um, the engine is cooled uh, by an aluminum radiator. It even has an aluminum overfill canister next to it. Um, it breathes out of custom headers and a Flowmaster exhaust system, which sounds really good. Um, it's got even um, billet hood hinges, which kind of match the billet uh, hood pins. Uh, it's got an Optima battery with a custom uh, hold down. Uh, there's a lot more things you can check out when you look at all the photos and look at the video. Uh, the engine is actually coupled to a T5 uh, transmission, which is a five-speed with overdrive. It's a great car to get on the highway. Uh, can't go wrong with this drivetrain combination. And the power is transferred through a Ford 9-inch rear end. Once again, uh, it's got a great drivetrain. Uh, you can definitely have some fun with this car. It does have power rack and pinion steering. Another great option, and unlike a lot of Mustangs, it actually has power brakes. Uh, it's got a little booster here, uh, tucked nicely into the firewall. Um, also, one thing I'm gonna mention about uh, uh, the engine compartment um, area and the ignition system is, it has an MSD uh, ignition system with a hi-fi uh, electronic setup. It's got a billet distributor. It's got tailor wires. It's got a lot of good components as far as that goes as well. Just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Um, it does have disc brakes, four-wheel disc brakes, so it really stops nice. Um, the undercarriage is really clean. Uh, once again, this isn't a super high-end show car. It's just a super nice car that you can take to shows. You can go out, you can enjoy it, have a lot of fun with it. Uh, so please make sure you read the full description on this vehicle. Check out all the photos. Uh, it's something that I'm really proud of. I'm going to go ahead and start it, and I'm going to let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Start right up, you gotta love these four small blocks. The cam sounds awesome, it sounds awesome to be exhaust. 